Even though when I was little, you would usually find me dressed in really girly girl, frilly dresses that my grandmother made for me, uh, I was very much an adventurous kid. I was always climbing trees, jumping off rooftops, and I loved animals. I was born an explorer. It, it really is in my genetic makeup. But my mom was very overprotective, and when I asked if I could join the Girl Scouts, um, she said no. She said it was far too dangerous. It could be argued that because she thought it was dangerous, that only made me want to do it more. When I got to college, I took an anthropology class, and it changed my whole life. I started doing some research on uh, two particular species of lemurs that I could only find line drawings of. I thought, how is it possible that these amazing animals are about to go extinct and we know nothing about them? I mean, we don't even have a photograph. And that was it. That was that moment where I decided I wanted to go out there and I wanted to learn everything there was about them in hopes that I could help protect them. And that very next summer, I headed off to one of the most remote and, and unexplored regions in South America. I fell in love with every aspect of it. The only idea I had about what it would mean to go in the jungle was watching gorillas in the mist and seeing Sigourney Weaver be surrounded by these gorillas in the wild. And the reality is very, very different. The areas that I like to explore are basically made up of impenetrable forest. You're constantly wet. There's lots and lots of insects to contend with. I mean, these are just things that never went through my mind. At the time that I was in college taking this anthropology class, I was also a cheerleader for the NFL. I did it for four years. Being one of the eight in that corner, having these thousands of people in front of you, following along with your cheers, there's something kind of spectacular about it. And when I decided to quit cheerleading so that I could take off into the remote wilderness, I can't remember a single person who really got it. And I remember all of them thinking I was just crazy and how was I gonna blow dry my hair? Well, you can love cheerleading or art or whatever it is, and you can still be a scientist. To be an NFL cheerleader, you have to be uh, incredibly committed and focused and hardworking, and you have to be in very good physical condition. And for the type of science that I do, you have to be incredibly committed and focused and in top physical condition. Flying over to the scene, if I can get there. I love my work with National Geographic because I get the chance to bring these amazing animals into the living room of people all over the world. I'm really coming down. I'm not sure I've ever been on an expedition where I haven't had a moment <laughs> where I thought, wow, I cannot believe I'm still alive. I've been involved in a plane crash. I've been attacked by a silverback gorilla. And I've been chased by elephants. Things that you just, you would never even think of. <laughs> you know, giant river otters jumping into your canoe and flipping it over and then you're in piranha infested waters. Although my mom freaks out while she watches me on TV doing the crazy things that I do. She's bragging to her friends about it, so <laughs> I think she's grown to accept what I do now.